What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm down in my garage getting ready to take some pictures so I can list some more stuff today. I'm gonna take some pictures of these clothes behind me. I've been putting it off because I hate listing clothing just because you gotta do all the measurements and it takes a little bit longer. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But I bought this little dry erase board so I can write down the size, the measurements on here, take a picture, and that way I'll save time in listing and I think it'll look a little bit better than having the measuring tape across the clothing in the pictures. I don't really like how that looks so I'm gonna try this today. Get to some of these clothes. Okay so here's what we're listing as far as clothes go today. I got these Levi jean shorts retail. They still got a tag on a retail for $45. Another pair of jeans right here 30 by 30. These are actually left at my house by a buddy. And he never came and picked them up, so I'm gonna sell them. You can come, you can go buy them on eBay. Uh, so if you don't want your stuff to be sold, don't leave it at my house. Until I get under these really good lights, I don't notice a lot of stains in the store. Like this shirt has a stain right here. I didn't even notice it. I tried to rub it and I think I made it worse. I might need to wait and try to put some shout on this, see if I can get this out before listing it, because this is a really nice shirt. These uh, retail for 80 bucks. It looks vintage though, it's a Hawaiian brand. Do a lot of Hawaiian shirts. Take two on that. Here's an old jersey that I had I'm gonna get rid of. There's a LA Kings jersey. Size medium. Set this aside, try to remove that stain. Just a Dickies button up. Extra, extra large. The lint roll that. I got this at the local thrift shop. Dirk's Bentley concert t-shirt. I saw this listed for around 25. I'll probably put it around there. Size medium, paid two for that. I um, kind of regret this buy, I don't know. Roundy Bay, I don't know if this is a good brand. It's only two dollars, little Hawaiian style print on here. All right, here's another one that I picked up at the local thrift. I really like this pullover fleece jacket. No, it's a zip up, I'm sorry. Uh, this thing's got pockets everywhere. A little pocket on the side here. Pocket on the arm. This is really good quality too. One little stain here, not a big deal. Cool, it's got these little uh, holes for your thumbs here. Uh, I paid five for this one, so. Hopefully so uh, it will sell because winter is coming up, or winter is already here. Also gonna be listing what's in this bag right here. Let me unwrap these real quick and then I'll show you uh, everything. All right guys, so I got all these unwrapped. Um, first we're gonna start with these little figurine statues that I have, whatever you wanna call them. They're by Willow Tree. It's got a mother and a father with their brand new baby. If you guys ever see these, make sure you pick them up. They actually go for quite a bit. Some of them do at least. You keep an eye out for those. Give them for a couple bucks to be worth it. There's another one with a mom and her toddler with angel wings. One more here. It's a dad and his newborn baby. All right, I got this owl. You plug it in, you buy this little uh, scented wax that melts inside there and makes it smell nice wherever you put it. It's good for like in the bathroom, you know what I mean? You need that. One other piece, I need to dust this guy off. It's wall decor, pretty cool. I think I picked this up in San Francisco, Chinatown years ago. So I'm gonna list these and then get to the clothes. I saw the video where I spilt green tea on my photo paper. I still haven't rolled more down. So I'm just throwing the products over the stain right now. Being lazy, I should just pull it down, but I can shoot some of the smaller stuff off to the side and miss the stain, or the bigger ones, I just cover it up. Those. This 
Ow. Look, it even comes with the scent already in there. Hmm, it's like a vanilla. All right, so those are all done. I'm gonna move on to the clothes. Um, some I might not take pictures, so I'm gonna try to get the stains out. I'm gonna do that real quick. Open up my little dry eraser. See if this idea I have works out. I also have a stuffed animal back there. I'll grab it here in a second. Um, I just came up on a whole bunch of stuffed animals. So after I'm done listing all her, uh, taking pictures of all this stuff, I will go show you guys all the stuffed animals I got. We got like a ton. I'm gonna become a stuffed animal dealer. All right, let's get into these clothes. Oh, I forgot I had mannequins behind me. Dumb. Get a picture for like the profile. The main picture, I'll use this, I think. Kind of see how it'll look on the body. So, focus. Guys, is your hometown on here? Did he come in 2006 to play to you guys? Let me know if your hometown was on here. I think why I hate doing clothes because I have all my own clothing line for oh, quite a while. I got burnt out on it. And I'm back to measuring clothes again and folding clothes and all that. Not a fan. Did a big event one year, the LA Fit Convention, and me and my wife were just folding clothes for weeks to get ready for that event. That's what did it for me, killed it for me. So this is my last shirt. I'm finish this up real quick and then take all the stuff back to my office and um, oh, hold on. Show you this uh, one stuff that I want to have down here now. Big Leonardo Ninja Turtle. It's got one little tear right here. Other than that, he's in good condition. Just a little one. How big this guy is though. So let me finish this up and then I'll go show you all the other stuffed animals I just got. All right guys, back into my office now. Um, so I sure already showed you that Ninja Turtle. Now let me show you some um, other stuffed animals that I got yesterday and I got all these for free. I'm um, completely stoked on all these. Got a Curious George. Cat in the Hat. Um, a whole bunch of Dr. Seuss characters. Another one. Man. Guys, remember these? You guys ever used to read those books? These are really cool stuffed animals. Just tons of them. Giraffe. It's like a blue seal. Elephant. I think I saw this one for like 20 on eBay. These are going to range from like these Dr. Seuss ones. 8 to 20 probably. What else I got? What else I got? Is that it? Nope. One more. Nope, two more. Two more. Two more. The dog from the Grinch. You can't have the dog from the Grinch without having the Grinch. There everything. I'm going to take pictures of those today. And I also got a box over there of more plushy stuffed animals. Poppy. Whole bunch of stuff. I said I'm gonna be a plushie dealer. I did just open a store, so I have a section of just plushies too. And I did that. I just opened the basic one. I did that so I can list more for free. 
get a hundred free listings now instead of the 50 a month because I was blowing through that so I think paying for a store really motivates me to even list more I'm gonna probably just do the basic for the month if I pass a hundred easily and then I'll step up to the next one which is 250 free listings so maybe do that in December I get busy guys go to start taking pictures of all these stuffed animals and then I'll have those all ready to list tonight. So usually during the day I try to take pictures and then at night I will list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.